Uh, what what are you looking forward to most out of this Final Four? Can, other than Purdue, obviously, we know you're looking forward to them winning the whole thing. We get that. But, like, what else – is it just the 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 Zach Eady clinging matchup potentially that we're gonna see? Like no, what? I I think that would be a, an awesome kind of like byproduct of yeah. Purdue UConn. Yeah, yeah, that is what I would be looking forward most to. But I am looking forward to seeing how many threes can Bama shoot, um, and how does maybe Kevin Keats scheme with DJ Burns to make him productive around the biggest center in the country. Which team do you give a better chance of pulling the upset? Is it Alabama or NC State, Rob? Um, I need to watch a little more before I answer that question. What do you yeah, think? I mean, I, I just think here's I just haven't I'm seen saying. NC State enough. Okay. I've I've kind of like seen some stuff this yeah. morning. I could better answer that in a day. Yeah, I don't know if either. I, I don't. I, I mean, Bama because they shoot so many threes can be scary. Right, right. But I. NC, NC State, State is also playing like a team, though. NC State's playing like a team that it's incredible. I mean, to win all those games at the ACC tournament, and you had O'Connell banking that three against Virginia, and they wouldn't even be here if he hadn't done that, you know. And now they've just they they just survived. It's, it's amazing. One of the coolest stories, one of the most unlikely, improbable stories we've ever seen. I mean, obviously, we've seen, you know, some teams get to the Final Four we didn't expect, you know, whether it's, you know, George Mason, VCU, FAU last year, even San Diego State. But, you know, to see a team virtually come out of nowhere and to see yeah. a coach that was probably going to be fired three weeks ago, yep. go all the way to the Final Four, get three years added on to his contract with this run, by the way. Um Really cool. Like, really cool. Can, can I say the other thing about this? I've known all four of these coaches for a long time, and they're very different in, in some of their personalities, but uh, all really, really good dudes. And, you know, for different reasons, again, like, you know, Nate was a high school coach 10 years ago. Hurley was a prep school coach who played in his yeah, brother's pretty crazy. shadow, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Keats. When I ran a prep school event, he was the head coach at Hargrave Military Academy. Right. He used to be a pain in the ass about scheduling. Literally, right. with the biggest pain in the ass. You'd be like, I, I want to play that team, and then I want a, a cupcake in the other game. And paint is about as good as it gets, as we've discussed. Uh, so I, I think, again, do I wish we had a little more uh, firepower against Purdue and UConn in these games? Because I'm kind of afraid that they could get yeah. ugly, Rob. Yeah, I, I do. I, I'm not going to lie. No, I hear you. I mean, that, that's the, I guess, from the NC State perspective, the downside of them pulling so many upsets that they are still a team that's lost, what, 14 times? Yeah. And Bama's lost 11. Right. You know, so it's not like you've got Houston, who now Houston had an injury and that happens. And that's, and I feel for Jamal Shedd. Yes. I, I know that pain. So I, I hated to see that. And, you know, that's just, that's the part of this that stinks. But, you know, I, I got a text from somebody today, and this is so true. And they we were talking about the game yesterday, and they're in basketball. And they said, you know, it wouldn't feel so good if if the, the downtimes didn't hurt so bad. And that's so true about the NCAA tournament. I mean, you see the look on Jamal Shedd's face in the locker room where he's utterly devastated. You know, he wanted to go to the Final Four so bad. And so does everybody that, that plays in this tournament does, you know, but for the teams that do make it through and make it to the final four to, to see the, the joy and, and jubilation they, they play with and celebrate with, that's, that's a pretty special thing, but it always does stink to see Tennessee on the same side of that, the other side of that, you know, like Rick Barnes, is a good, a good coach and a good guy, and he deserves to go to the final four too.